Hello everyone, and hopefully everyone should be excited in creating a survival horror game. After seeing that awesome cutscene, which we will make a few in the game to drive it. Right now we will work on building the level using some free assets. Also, if you want to follow along and build the level like mine, or you can build your own. Best thing is to look at an interior by looking online, or you could model your workplace or or a house or an apartment. Another is to get ideas from games and movies. Map it out and start building. I actually would like to challenge you and have you build a level different from what I am doing. Anyways, uh, let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and download a Unity. If you haven't downloaded Unity already, just go to, or don't have Unity downloaded, just go to unity3d.com. Uh, you will have to sign in, uh, log in to download. Click on products, then select personal, or you can go plus. You have a lot more features than plus, but click on personal for right now, and then go to try personal, agree to terms, and then download for either Windows or for uh, Mac. Once that's installed and downloaded. Uh, just go ahead and go through the uh, defaults and then once uh, you're done go ahead and open it up okay once you have unity opened up go to you should get this layout or if you don't just click on new and then now allow you to um, get here so what we're going to do is we're going to call this survival horror game. Then once that's done, just go ahead and click create. All right. And then once it is open, I have my layout. Your layout might be different because this is how I set my layout up as. So you can go to layout up on the top right. See layout and see here click on the fault so basically what we want is to see both the scene and game same time so click on here drag game down and I will drag this project over here we can draw your license like this so we can see both the scene and game I'm just going to go back to my default. Yeah, this is a whole lot better. So you can see uh, both both as uh, the scene and game. Okay, now let's go ahead and download our assets. So first, we're going to download our hospital horror pack. You can find uh, this in my description, the link in my description, video link. And that will take you to there, or you can just click on the asset store and just type in uh, PVR Hospital Horror Pack, and then that will take you here by DNK underscore dev. And if you download this pack and if you do like it, uh, just come back and leave a review. And also, you have to be signed in to go ahead and uh, download it. Once it's down, once you download, you get something. When you click on the link over here, you're going to get something that will say uh, download or add to my uh, asset. I already have it downloaded, so that's why it says open in Unity. Once you get it downloaded, a pop was going to say open in, in Unity. So I'm going to open it in Unity. I just wait for it. Uh, let's see here. So it didn't show, so I'll just have to search it. Hospital. There you go. 
If this happens, just search for it in here as well. And then click on import. So import that. Import all. All right, once that's done and all that's imported, we're going to go ahead and import the assets for the for the sink and toilet. It's actually the part of the bathroom scene that we created uh, as you saw in the cutscene. So sink and toilet uh, right here by the ployer. Just type it in there and your might say download just go ahead and click on import and then once or download and then once you're done download it then go ahead and click on import once that's imported uh, next uh, we're going to get the morgue because basically what's the levels going to entail is um, a room Uh, with like hospital beds and then and then next to it it's going to be a bathroom and then the hallway and then we're going to build like a lobby area and then a classroom and then the morgue all right so that's that's the general idea that's my mad idea for this horror game like I said you can create your own or just follow along um, also, I just want to point out if you are using like a gaming computer or like a like a computer that can probably handle like a high end graphics, I would just um, just do the um, bathroom and the uh, living area scene, or just do the living area scene and then just use your own imagination, be creative on. Um, Create something around that. Um, you can still follow along and still do everything that I'm doing. Make cutscenes, uh, zombies, and and showing the the uh, the final big boss zombie that that we're going to implement uh, later on. And you can still do that uh, in a small small thing. It doesn't have to be big. You just use your imagination. Be creative, and then once you're done, share it to your friends and family. Let them see it. And, um, and if they give uh, feedback, they actually like your game, whether it's good or bad feedback, they actually like what, you, what you've done. They probably want to see more. So that actually will be an awesome driving force for you to, uh, if you want to uh, create more, learn how to create more uh, games and, and uh, everything like that. And also I got an affiliate link from Amazon that will teach you how to build, uh, build and code um, games. So just want to point that out. So uh, like I said, we're gonna go to morgue. Morgue room PBR by by Roke 3D. Same thing. If you like what they have, uh, leave a review. Okay, I'm gonna import it. And click on I made back go ahead. Okay, so that's downloaded. And then I'm actually speeding through since I since this is recorded. So if you still are downloading, just go ahead and click pause, pause the video. And I'm gonna go and type in snack machines by Viz Games. And a lot of these stuff is, are, are free assets. Um I mean, a lot of these stuff have some good art quality to it, 3D models, good quality. Um, if you want to use your own assets or if you already do 3D modeling like for Maya or Blender, uh, you can go ahead and, and import that. Um, or what you can do is um, 
you don't want to use uh, these assets, you just search around in the asset store for for interior uh, assets. There's a lot of stuff that interior. A lot of them are going to be paid, uh, but they have a lot of good quality. Import that. And uh, next, we're going to classroom because I have a, in there have a classroom scene. So what I was so what I selected was the props for classroom made by BR. So again, if you like what this person has, go ahead and support them by clicking on the stars and the review. Leave a leave a nice review for for the person. All right, and import. Uh, not import again. Uh, and the next or the last it will be the wooden chair. Wooden chair, wooden part chair. What I did was I put this in um, in the lobby. Um, create a lobby scene, and I well I create a lobby level in the scene. Uh, in the scene, and this is made by Rakshi Games. Um, I think a coach butcher the name but anyways like I said leave some stars or a good review or you can just uh, search for uh, better like uh, uh, chairs or better props um, like I said you don't have to be exactly like what I'm doing I just we're just building up showing you I just build like a like a level how uh, I did it with mine and once that's done and imported all right. In the next video, we're going to optimize the game assets and also build up the level. And also, if you would like what I'm doing and find it interesting, please like and subscribe, and also share with your friends and family. And also, if you want to help me in my quest to build up 50, 50 different game tutorials by the end of this year, uh, please support my Patreon link that's found in the description below and also if you want to learn more about building uh, games with unity which is a very awesome um, game development tool that will help anybody build a game or make their dreams come true with game development and design uh, go ahead and click on the Amazon affiliate links below and that will also teach you some some good uh, stuff on building games with coding and everything that falls with building games. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.